Good morning out here for a goose hunt. Got about five dozen final approach silhouettes. Just put them in on some ice and just kind of a really shallow curve is kind of what I'm doing for the decoy spread. Gonna have a crosswind. So if some birds finally start moving, it's a little bit after sunrise now and nothing's really been flying, but oh, fingers crossed, we'll get some geese in here. Got the 12 gauge with me and uh, hopefully we can decoy some in. It's supposed to be a decent little wind today. So once that whips up, we might be in business. Starting to get some to move. Yeah, they're gonna go around me. They were looking good for a second. I thought they were gonna come right in and cup right in, but nope. Thinking about Kern. Well, finally have some geese moving around. No coincidence, the wind is also starting to whip up. So probably just waiting for that wind and then they decided time to go eat. Holy cow, he dumped in. Just gave him a little talking to and just came right here. I could have shot him right here, but I waited. He was gonna hook in. Wanted him, wanted him close. We got one down. Oh, that is awesome. Shouldn't have taken the two shots, but that's okay. <laughs> like I said, he was too close. Just an old single. Old single goose, cruising around. <laughs> Man, that was, he decoyed in pretty. I'm using a full choke, just cause I want to make sure I can smack them. There we go. When they're dead on the ice like that, you know, <laughs> you know you did something right. He, Big ol', big ol' honker. And we got our first goose of the day. And, oh shoot, right here. Got more geese out. Ah, that would happen. That's all right. There's a pair in there locked up. Get my one goose and uh, here comes some more. He came right here and I could have shot him over the silhouettes, but he came down here and he was hooking in even closer, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Ideally, they'd come up this way and then they just set their wings and come right in, but he worked perfectly. Come on. Come on. Those first groups were cupped up and then there we go. Matter of several minutes and we got two honkers down. The first three or four were locked up and then there was this flock behind. This flock behind came right over though and they were obviously <laughs> plenty close enough because one shot and I stopped, dropped him right here. So that was a little easy, easier to retrieve, a little closer, but uh, we'll see. We got two down, hopefully, hopefully I can get a few more. It's supposed to get a little above freezing today. 
with the sun and the wind, I'm going to guess that some of these silhouettes are going to get loose and fold down. I'm going to have to keep tapping them in throughout the day if I, depends how long I stay out here, I guess. Got like five or six. close. We'll see if we can get them in tighter. Yeah, here they come. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got a double. I'm glad I gave him that second pass. Oh, stoned him. <laughs> I am tickled with that. Oh my gosh. They, the first pass, they were a little higher and they were a little further out. And I just gave them. They're still flying around. I don't think they're going to do anything. I just talked them in. You got geese and they're stone dead. He's not the biggest. He's a lower one. That's all right. When you got geese and they're stone dead, that's how you know he did something right. Oh. oh. Well, we just need one more sleeper decoy and we'll be done for the day. Let me put him right here. Man, I cannot believe how well they're decoying with this little bit of wind. This just looks great though, the sun everything i don't know if i jumped up a hair too late though if i could have jumped up maybe just a little bit earlier if i could have got that third one that's all right i'll take a double <laughs> we are one goose away oh my gosh this is so cool and i spaced it off that far goose silhouette from where i'm standing is less than 35 yards that's it was 35 paces. My paces are a little less than a yard, so it's maybe like 32, 31 yards, something like that. It's really slowed down now. We had a good little flurry of action and uh, a few geese. I mean, shot four or probably in about an hour, but not hardly anything flying since. A little bit more wind, so I'm sure they're all out in the fields. And uh, hopefully, soon we'll get one. That's all we need. We just need a solo come in here looking to land. They're whiffling in. He might have uh, been on the ground before I even shot him, but I wanted to make sure. 
oh, they came up and they just hooked right in here and they whiffled down and we are done. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. The way they decoyed in like that. Oh, I am beyond tickled. Okay, that's a limit. All done, and geese are still dumping in. It doesn't get much better than that as far as goose hunting goes. Came out here, five dozen silhouettes, just put them right in some ice, and oh my gosh, that last group, I watched them come against the wind. I just got them a little excited calling, and then just tried to, you know, keep them interested. <laughs> and they were whiffling, biting the wind, coming in here, and the one I shot, he might have even been landed, I don't know, it was kind of a blur but I wanted to make sure I had one that was clear of all the other ones. I did not want a collateral goose and we got her done. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, wish, <laughs> wish I would have had someone else here. We probably could have got a two man pretty easy, but this was a fun, fun time. I, there's not much else to say. It was an amazing day, but that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure out there and support those conservation organizations, Ducks Limited, Delta Waterfowl, and we'll catch you out there. See ya.